Hey guys, this is Brian Sykes with the AI Lab. I'm going to try something. I've never tried to record my screen recording itself and then having a conversation with it. So this is kind of a new space, but I'm really interested in Google's AI Studio because there's some multiple functionality that's happening. So as you're looking, you're actually seeing my computer screen as I'm kind of having this conversation with you. And what I'm trying to do is with Google AI Studio, there's something called Stream Real Time. And there's also something called Create Prompt, which allows us to interact with it and have it engage as far as with images and stuff, much like you would do with Midjourney. So I really wanna kind of take and work with both of these at the same time. Now I know by default, I should only be able to work with one. That's okay. What I wanna do though, is I wanna see if I can run this as two separate windows. One where I'm basically saying, hey, pay attention to what I'm doing and we're gonna have a conversation about it. And then two, I'm going to engage with this other portion of what you have available and see if you can explain it to me. At the same time, I'm recording the entire process using Camtasia. So Camtasia is screen recording, it's capturing the video feed, and it's capturing my audio. But also, so will Google. <laughs> we'll see how this works. Anyway, I'm at the, the share window where it's basically saying, what do you want to share? And so I want to tell it to share the entire screen. So I'll choose that and share and allow while visiting the site. Okay, it looks like you are visiting the site. Is there anything you would like to ask or discuss about this site? Yeah, so I'm actually gonna be working on another portion that I want you to pay attention to. So I'm gonna open this up and this is working with the create prompt aspect. Are you able to see what I'm looking at? Where it says, what will you build? Yes, I can see that you have. Okay, I see. What will you build on the screen? Is there anything specific about this page that you'd like to discuss? Yeah, I'm really interested in how to work with this best. So I'm choosing for model the Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, and I want to play with this images and text portion. Can you kind of walk me through the process and what you would recommend uh, to get the best results? Okay, you're interested in how to best use the Create Prompt page and you've selected the Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental Model with images and text as the output. You'd like me to walk? Yeah, walk me through the next step. So I wanna bring in an image, and I'm actually gonna go through this. I'll select, upload an image, and let's see, I'll grab this picture of these people in a movie theater. All right, now I'm interested. Okay, you've chosen, chosen to upload. Go ahead. Okay, you've chosen an image of people in a movie theater. Now, what kind of prompt would you like to use with this image? You can type it in the text box below the image. Yeah, I think what I'm interested in is I would like to colorize this. That's one thing. And the second thing is I'd be interested in adding something that's kind of unique, something funny, maybe putting an alien right in the middle of the crowd. Okay, so you'd like to colorize the image and add an alien in the middle of the crowd. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, you can type colorize this image and add an alien in the middle of the crowd into the text box and then click run to see the result. Would you like me to help you with that? Let me see if I can do this. Okay, I see you've started typing colorize this image and add an alien. Go ahead and finish that and then click run. Okay, there we go. We got both the color image and there's an alien dropped, but it looks more like the alien head is just kind of floating on top of another person. Is there a better way to refine the prompt so it looks like an entire alien body, not just this funny mask? Yes. You could try specifying colorize this image and add a full-bodied alien standing in the middle of the crowd to see if that improves the result. Okay, for Do you want to try that or would you like to try other variations? I like what you're saying. So where would I make this change? If I type below, is that referencing the image here that's been colorized or is it going to reference this initial image? Um, do I need to come up here and choose edit on the place right here? Is that what I'm kind of lost as to where to go next? Okay, it seems like you're wondering if the text box below the image will apply changes to the original black and white image or to the colorized version with the alien head. 
you're also asking if the edit button above the colorized image is where you would change the prompt text. Is that correct? Okay, the text box below the images will apply changes to the most recent image generated, which in this case is the colorized image with the floating alien head. And yes, to change the prompt text, you can click on the edit button above the colorized image. Would you like to try making another change? I would actually like to edit the original image instead of this alien image. Are you able to see the create prompt page? Yes, I can see the create prompt page. Okay, so what I was able to do was delete the render that Google had created and then basically edit my prompt and it gave me a new image. This is much better because it's giving me a full body alien. Only thing is he seems to be into the foreground. So I want to modify this prompt and get a better result. So I'm going to delete this render and I would love your help on how to modify this prompt so that the alien can be more towards the middle of the picture, not over here on the side. Okay, so it seems that you're trying to modify a prompt so that the alien appears in the middle of the crowd instead of the foreground. Is that correct? Okay, I can help with that. To move the alien to the middle of the crowd, you could try changing your prompt to colorize this image and place a full body alien in the center of the crowd. Would you like to try that? Okay, let me know what the result is. So here I'm applying the colorize this image and place a full body alien in the center of the crowd using retro future 1960s colors. And there we go. I like the results of this. The updated image with the alien in the center of the crowd looks good. Is there anything else I can help you with? You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Not at this time. But I do have a quick question. If I was wanting to use your capabilities, would you be helpful in tools like Adobe Photoshop, Midjourney, and things like that? That's an interesting question. While I can't directly interact with those tools, I can help you by providing ideas for prompts or descriptions you can use in them. Would you like to discuss how I could help with those? We may try that later. Thanks again. Okay, sounds good. Feel free to reach out if you need anything else. Okay, so there you saw how I was able to have an interaction with Google Gemini uh, in the Google AI Studio, where it can actually look at my screen and we can have a conversation about the things that I'm doing. And I had two windows open at the same time. One that was allowing the interface or the interaction in real time, and the other where I was actually playing with the create prompt uh, with text and images using Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. Again, this is kind of an interesting way to approach working with the AI tools. We can basically have it like an AI on your shoulder watching your interactions and then giving suggestions in real time with what you're trying to do. A fresh take on working with AI. So if this is the kind of thing you're interested in, I would love a like and a follow. And please leave comments if there's things that you're interested in learning more about. Comment below. Till next time. See you guys.